Welcome back. I um, worked a really long day yesterday on this. And uh, the toughest part was just making sure that everything is exactly where I want it. It's very hard to find a point of reference in a, in a boat. Uh, even the keel in this boat is not actually in the, <coughs> the dead center. So I ended up going side to side and using that piece of wood up there to see where that would put the floor on either side and positioned it both you know, in the center and moving it side to side to get it to, to sit as level as possible. Um, the small piece of plywood on the bottom I used to kind of spread the load and uh, kind of even out the surface for the, the stringers to, to sit on. I ended up cutting them in three three different places, diagonal cuts. You can see the two cuts up there just to deal with the transfer of the hull because it kind of rolls. Um, and then made this uh, strong back and piece, two pieces of wood wedged in there to hold it in place. And after putting down the pads, one one pad at a time with a big big glob of uh, fast line, fast glass. And then I, um, you know, each one of those had to set up and then got the back all prepared here and made a pad for it screwed it into the transom right where it needs to be and um, put down a whole bunch of whole bunch of mud I actually tried this uh, miracle bond stuff miracle bond 1310 and uh, it's a two-part Epoxy. I did this pad right here to the floor and uh, didn't like how thin it was, so I only did that one. But after it had cured, the stuff is like steel. It's unbelievably strong. So I'll be using that in other other sections here. Um, getting another gallon of this stuff today. And I'll finish doing the fillets. You know, I got this all taken care of here, but I still gotta go down here. And this section where the where the suction the uh, suction goes is right here. You can see the step right to here. So I'm gonna try and make the hole that thickness right there. Now there's a couple ways I could do it. I could build it up with with glass. It's already kind of an uneven surface so I could kind of fare it out with, uh, with glass. Um, it's probably what I'll do. Not really not really sure yet. What I'm gonna focus on today is fitting the ribs and there's going to be a piece that goes from here all the way up to the front on either side and that's going to set the uh the level of the floor so that should uh that should take quite a while and then i can fit the ribs in between and then i'll do the uh the front bulkhead and just kind of develop it as i go the uh, section in the middle up there is kind of a it's a big space, and I think I'd like to keep it for a you know storage in the middle of the boat, and then uh, the fuel tank will most likely go up front. Could go back here, could go back there. Not really sure, but it's coming along well, and I'll just keep doing morning updates like this. So. Tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll have another update and then uh, here and there I'll be filming, you know, kind of time lapse things of while I'm doing it. 
Not that you want to see me, but why not? So, here we go. Another day.